Welcome to Keen Adventures, an enthralling series that embarks on a captivating journey through the 12 historical villages of Portugal, inviting viewers to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of history and beauty that defines these remarkable destinations. From ancient fortresses to charming cobblestone streets, each village offers a glimpse into Portugal's storied past and cultural heritage. As we embark on this adventure, viewers will have the opportunity to explore the unique character and charm of each historical village, uncovering the stories and legends that have shaped their identity over the centuries. From the strategic stronghold of Almeida to the picturesque hilltop village of Monsanto, each destination is a treasure trove of architectural wonders and cultural landmarks waiting to be discovered. Throughout the series, viewers will be transported to a bygone era as the host guides them through narrow alleyways, towering castles, and bustling town squares. From the medieval splendor of Castelo Novo to the rustic charm of Piodon, each village offers a glimpse into Portugal's diverse landscapes and rich architectural heritage. Each episode of the series is an invitation to embark on a journey of discovery and exploration, guided by the host's passion for history and appreciation for the beauty of Portugal. As we uncover the hidden gems and untold stories of Portugal's historical villages. So join us as we set out on this unforgettable journey through the heart and soul of Portugal. Thank you for joining Keen Adventures and may each episode ignite your curiosity and leave you with a newfound appreciation for the history and beauty of this remarkable country. Linares de Beira is a quaint and historic village nestled in the heart of Portugal, known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and picturesque landscapes. To fully understand the significance of Linares da Beira, it is essential to delve into its history, from its earliest origins to the present day. The origins of Linares da Beira can be traced back to prehistoric times, with evidence of human presence dating back to the Neolithic period. The area's strategic location, perched atop a hill overlooking the Mondego River Valley, made it an ideal spot for settlement and defense. Throughout the centuries, various civilizations inhabited the region, leaving their mark on the landscape. Linares de Beira holds a significant place in the narrative of the Reconquista, the centuries-long campaign by Christian kingdoms to reclaim the Iberian Peninsula from Islamic rule. Situated strategically atop a hill overlooking the Mondego River Valley, Linares de Beira played a vital role in the defense and expansion of Christian territory during this transformative period of history. The Reconquista, which spanned from the 8th to the 15th centuries, was characterized by a series of military campaigns, alliances, and cultural exchanges between Christians and Muslims. The Iberian Peninsula had been under Islamic rule since the early 8th century when the Moors, led by Tariq ibn Ziyad, crossed the Strait of Gibraltar and conquered much of the region. Linares de Beira's location near the northern frontier of Islamic-controlled territory made it a strategic stronghold for Christian forces seeking to push back against Muslim incursions. Throughout the early medieval period, the village and its surrounding region witnessed numerous skirmishes and battles as Christian kingdoms, such as Asturias, Leon, and later Portugal, sought to assert their dominance over the land. One of the defining moments in Linares de Vera's history occurred in the 12th century, when King Sancho I of Portugal granted the village to the Knights Templar, a powerful military order dedicated to protecting Christian pilgrims and territories in the Holy Land. Under Templar rule, Linares de Beira became fortified, its castle serving as a key defensive outpost against Moorish forces. The Templars, renowned for their military prowess and organizational skills, played a crucial role in the Reconquista, contributing troops, resources, and expertise to the Christian cause. Linares de Beira, as a Templar stronghold, became a center of resistance against Moorish expansion, providing a safe haven for Christian settlers and refugees fleeing from Islamic-controlled territories. Over the centuries, as the Reconquista progressed, Linares de Beira remained a bastion of Christian resistance, enduring sieges, raids, and shifting political alliances. The village's strategic location along the borderlands between Christian and Muslim territories made it a frequent target for both sides, leading to periods of conflict and instability. Despite the challenges and hardships, 
Linares de Barra survived and thrived, its castle standing as a symbol of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. As the Reconquista reached its culmination in the late 15th century with the conquest of Granada, the last Muslim stronghold in Spain, Linares de Beira became firmly entrenched within the borders of the Kingdom of Portugal. During the Middle Ages, Linares de Beira flourished as a fortified town surrounded by defensive walls and towers. Its strategic location along trade routes brought prosperity to the region, attracting merchants and settlers. The town's castle, built atop the highest point of the hill, served as a symbol of power and authority. In the 15th and 16th centuries, Linares de Beira experienced a period of growth and prosperity under Portuguese rule. The town became a hub for agriculture, commerce, and craftsmanship, with artisans producing fine ceramics, textiles, and metalwork. Its castle was expanded and renovated, reflecting the wealth and influence of its inhabitants. However, Linares de Beira's fortunes began to decline in the 17th century as Portugal entered a period of economic stagnation and political upheaval. The town's strategic importance diminished, and its population dwindled as people migrated to urban centers in search of better opportunities. The castle fell into disrepair and many of its buildings were abandoned. Linares de Beira, a queen, found itself drawn into the tumultuous event of Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts that engulfed Europe in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Despite its remote location, Linares de Beira played a role in the larger struggle for power and influence on the continent during this turbulent period. The Napoleonic Wars, which spanned from 1803 to 1815, were a series of conflicts primarily involving Napoleon Bonaparte, the ambitious French military leader who sought to extend French hegemony across Europe. As Napoleon's armies marched across the continent, they encountered resistance from various coalitions of European powers, including Britain, Austria, Prussia, and Russia. Linares de Beira, situated far from the main theaters of war, might seem an unlikely setting for military conflict. However, the village's strategic location along key transportation routes and its proximity to Spain, which was a battleground in the Peninsular War 1808-1814, made it vulnerable to the ebb and flow of the conflict. During the Peninsular War, Portugal served as a crucial theater of operations for British and Portuguese forces allied against Napoleon's armies. The rugged terrain and guerrilla tactics employed by Portuguese irregulars, known as the Casadores, proved to be a formidable challenge for the French, who struggled to maintain control over the countryside. Linares de Beira, with its commanding position overlooking the Mondego River Valley, became a focal point for both sides in the conflict. The village's castle, originally built as a defensive stronghold during the medieval period, once again became a strategic asset, offering a vantage point for observing enemy movements and controlling access to the surrounding territory. In 1810, during the height of the Peninsular War, Linares de Beira briefly fell under French occupation as Napoleon's forces advanced into Portugal. The village's residents, like those across the country, endured the hardships of occupation, including requisitions, conscription, and taxation imposed by the French authorities. However, the French occupation of Linares de Beira was short-lived. As the tide of the war turned against Napoleon, his armies were gradually forced to retreat from Portugal, culminating in their decisive defeat at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. With the restoration of Portuguese sovereignty, Linares de Beira, like the rest of the country, regained its independence and autonomy. The Church of Nossa Senhora do Castelo, a jewel of Linares de Beira, a historic and architectural gem that embodies the rich cultural heritage of the region. Dating back to the 12th century, this Romanesque church holds a special place in the hearts of locals and visitors alike, offering a glimpse into the religious and artistic traditions of medieval Portugal. The Church of Nossa Senhora do Castelo is located adjacent to the imposing medieval castle that overlooks the village, lending it a sense of grandeur and significance. Its construction during the Reconquista period speaks to the village's strategic importance as a frontier stronghold against Moorish incursions, as well as its role as a center of Christian worship and pilgrimage. Architecturally, the church is a masterpiece of Romanesque design, 
characterized by its simple yet elegant facade, sturdy stone walls, and rounded arches. The exterior is adorned with intricate carvings and decorative motifs, including geometric patterns, floral motifs, and symbolic imagery that reflect the religious and cultural influences of the time. Upon entering the church, visitors are greeted by a sense of tranquility and reverence, as sunlight filters through stained glass windows and illuminates the interior space. The nave is adorned with wooden pews, altars, and religious artifacts, while the vaulted ceilings soar overhead, creating a sense of awe and majesty. One of the highlights of the Church of Nossa Senhora do Castelo is its collection of medieval frescoes, which adorn the walls and ceilings of the sanctuary. These exquisite paintings, dating back to the 13th and 14th centuries, depict scenes from the life of Christ, the Virgin Mary, and various saints, serving as visual aids for worship and contemplation. The church is dedicated to Nossa Senhora do Castelo, or Our Lady of the Castle, a title that speaks to its close association with the nearby medieval fortress. According to local tradition, the Virgin Mary was believed to watch over and protect the village from harm, earning her the devotion and reverence of the community. In the 20th century, efforts were made to preserve Linares de Beira's historic heritage and revitalize the town. In 1948, it was designated a national monument recognizing its architectural and cultural significance. Restoration projects were undertaken to repair the castle and other historic buildings breathing new life into the town. The Festivals of Linares de Beira. These lively events, deeply rooted in tradition and community spirit, offer a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the region and provide locals and visitors alike with an opportunity to come together in shared revelry and camaraderie. One of the most anticipated events on Linares de Beira's calendar is the Medieval Fair, a weekend-long extravaganza that transports visitors back in time to the days of knights, troubadours, and fair maidens. Held annually in the historic town center, the medieval fair transforms the village into a bustling medieval marketplace, complete with colorful tents, artisanal stalls, and costumed performers. As visitors wander through the cobblestone streets, they are treated to a spectacle of jousting tournaments, sword fights, and falconry displays, evoking the sights and sounds of a bygone era. Musicians play traditional melodies on period instruments, while dancers twirl in intricate choreographies, creating an atmosphere of merriment and festivity. One of the highlights of the medieval fair is the gastronomic experience, where attendees can sample a wide array of medieval delicacies, from hearty stews and roasted meats to freshly baked bread and sweet pastries. Local artisans showcase their craftsmanship, demonstrating traditional skills such as pottery making, weaving, and blacksmithing, while vendors sell handmade goods and souvenirs. In addition to the medieval fair, Linares de Beira hosts a variety of other festivals throughout the year, each with its own unique theme and cultural significance. The Festival of Our Lady of the Castle, held in honor of the village's patron saint, Nossa Senhora de Castelo, is a religious procession that draws worshippers from near and far to pay homage to the Virgin Mary and seek her blessings for the year ahead. The Festival of the Holy Spirit, celebrated in the spring, is another important event in Linares de Beira's calendar, marked by processions, prayers, and feasting. This religious festival, rooted in Portuguese tradition, honors the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and is celebrated with fervor and devotion by the local community. Throughout the year, Linares de Beira also hosts a variety of cultural events, including music festivals, dance performances, and art exhibitions, showcasing the talents of local artists and performers. These events provide opportunities for residents and visitors alike to come together, share their passions, and celebrate the rich cultural tapestry of the region. Paragliding in Linares de Beira offers not only a rich tapestry of history and culture, but also thrilling opportunities for outdoor adventure. Among the many activities available to visitors, paragliding stands out as a unique and exhilarating way to experience the beauty of the region from a bird's eye view. Paragliding, often described as the purest form of human flight, involves launching oneself from a hill or mountain slope using a lightweight inflatable wing. Pilots harness the power of the wind to soar gracefully through the air, 
riding thermals and currents to gain altitude and cover long distances. Linares de Beira's rugged terrain and favorable weather conditions make it an ideal destination for paragliding enthusiasts of all skill levels. The village is surrounded by rolling hills, verdant valleys, and panoramic vistas, providing ample opportunities for thrilling flights and breathtaking views. One of the most popular launch sites for paragliding in Linares de Beira is the Serra da Estrela Natural Park, located just a short drive from the village. Here, pilots can take off from designated launch areas perched high atop the mountains, enjoying unobstructed views of the surrounding countryside as they glide gracefully through the air. As pilots soar above Linares de Beira, they are treated to a unique perspective of the village and its historic landmarks, including the medieval castle, ancient churches and fortified walls. The stunning natural beauty of the region unfolds beneath them, with lush forests, meandering rivers, and picturesque villages stretching out as far as the eye can see. Today, Linares de Beira is a charming village that attracts visitors from around the world with its well-preserved medieval architecture and scenic beauty. The castle, with its commanding views of the surrounding countryside, remains the focal point of the town. Visitors can wander through narrow cobblestone streets, explore ancient churches and chapels, and admire traditional stone houses adorned with colorful flowers. Linares de Beira is not just a place frozen in time, but a living testament to Portugal's rich and diverse history. From its origins as a fortified outpost to its present-day incarnation as a charming medieval village, Linares de Beira continues to captivate the imagination of all who visit, offering a glimpse into the past while embracing the present.